what's going on guys on today's video we're going to be taking our existing cast iron sewer pipe and replacing it with pvc pipe to service a new bathroom that we're putting in so with that being said let's get rolling Okay, on today's project, we're looking to cut out this horizontal section of cast iron sewer pipe, basically from this location here all the way to that location. We're gonna replace it with PVC uh, so we can basically make some new connections to a new toilet and a new shower that's going in. So we're gonna be using a sawzall to cut through this cast iron pipe, but what I like to do is take just you know a regular hand saw beforehand and kind of carve out uh, basically just like the running groove for the sawzall so it doesn't slip and take a while to get in. So you can do that or choose not to, but I find it's easier. Another thing I like to do beforehand is just go ahead and take a wire brush and just clean off the section of cast iron pipe that's going to receive the fern coat later on. Um, you can do this after you cut it as well, but I feel like there's a less likelihood that there's going to be sewage on it or other uh, contaminants. So just go all the way around the pipe. So we have our one notch right here on this side, and then if we go here, to the other side, we have our second notch, and we should be ready to rock and roll and make these cuts. All right, so as we get ready to cut these pipes, I strongly recommend you put some plastic down because you're definitely gonna get some drips. Um, definitely a lot easier for us because it's unfinished, but especially imperative if you have a finished basement. And then for the sawzall blade I'm using, it's honestly just a standard blade. I'm gonna use one that I've been using for other projects as well, um, and then probably throw it away afterwards. So we'll see if we're good. All right, here we go, making our first cut. This is obviously time-lapse, but I show real-time speed when I cut the next segment. So when you get down towards the bottom of the pipe, there's gonna be a little bit of splashing from the sawzall blade. So I just grabbed a plastic bag and kind of put it over my face, um, but hopefully you won't have quite as much splashing. Okay, so I'm back to time lapse here. I would say it probably takes around three to four minutes um, to get through one of these pipes. It's really not too difficult once you keep with it. Okay, at this point we have both sides of the cast iron pipe cut. My brother's helping me uh, lift it out. And we're just gonna go through, grab it, and make sure we're not spilling anything too badly. Um, it probably weighs around 50 pounds, that segment right there. So um, if you need help lifting it, don't be afraid to grab it. So what I'm doing right now is wiping down the cast iron pipe that we cut just so that we don't have any debris in the way when we go to put the fern coat coupling on and connect the new PVC segment. So before we put anything in place, we uh, put all the PVC together and did a dry fitting to make sure it was going to fit um, up in the new cast iron segment. So that's a piece of our little apparatus right there and then we started gluing it once we found out that it worked. And here we are just using our PVC purple primer and our PVC cement to glue everything together before lifting it up in place. All right, so here we are lifting the PVC segment that we just glued together up into place. We have the Fernco already inserted um, with the PVC and then we're fitting it over the cast iron segment. So we're gonna go ahead and get that oriented how we want it and then we'll go ahead and start basically just screwing it down and tightening it up on both ends. Um, I'm using a screwdriver right now, but I end up switching over to a hex driver um, to actually get it much tighter. And just an FYI, our cast iron pipe is just around three inches outside diameter, and again, outside diameter of three inch for the PVC. So we're using a three by three Fernco, and there's my brother doing it on the opposite side. Here we are making the final PVC connections to the sink and the shower and the toilet that we're putting in, and that's that. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video and it provided uh, some value and helped you out in your project, I'd really appreciate if you could like the video, uh, comment, and subscribe. It'll help me out with the algorithm and help me to put together the next video. Um, until then, thank you.